Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Allentown, Pennsylvania with Riot Radio Girl. I mean, she doesn't get arrested in this video, but oh boy, does she show off her lack of uh, editing skills and uh, a lot of stupidity on her in her case. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Here we go. Audio and video recording is strictly forbidden inside building. The only exception is for official police business. Okay, let's open the door. That is not a lawful sign. No law or statute attached. Okay, you say it's not a lawful sign, but let me ask you something, dumbass. None of these signs have any laws attached to them on the signs themselves. So does that mean they're unlawful too? Or should you just uh, realize what you're doing and stop following the damn fraud or script, which has been debunked quite a number of times by now. I mean, tens of thousands of times at the very least. Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, this is Riot Radio Girl. She's a fairly new frauditor on the scene and has got a really nasty attitude. And she's been already been arrested one time, so she's on her way up. Oh yeah, and this is a message to you, Riot Radio Girl. You really need to improve on your editing skills because... You were kind of moving from topic to topic in this video and just jumping around at random, so it's kind of hard to tell what you're actually talking about because it's just random topics at any given time. But let's hear from Jean-Luc Picard and see what he thinks of it. There was no pause. He just kept talking in one long incredibly unbroken sentence moving from topic to topic so that no one had a chance to interrupt it was really quite hypnotic <laughs> and there's our oh. friendly reminder that they're filming us too <laughs> Damn it, Sean Paul Reyes, could you please stop using that line? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I, I got confused right there because I thought it was Sean Paul Reyes because it's the exact same line that he uses in every single video. Therefore, you should already know that those video cameras there are for security purposes only and will only be used for such matters not to be sold on YouTube for profit, like you're trying to do. Well, I'm inside, and it's not the NYPD. They're not tackling me. That's lucky. Yeah. 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 There's no recording. There's, Pardon me? There's no recording in here. There's no recording in here. Yeah, why? <laughs> it's just no recording. Can you show me the law or statute that supports what you're saying? How can law enforcement enforce an unlawful sign is my question. And it's tinted so you can't really see back there. Oh, I can. There we go. Well, Riot Radio Girl, you might want to be careful of the two-party consent states and believe it or not, uh, Pennsylvania is one of those states where you need everybody to consent to the recording for it to be legal. In addition, you dumbass, you actually need to be careful of the uh, wiretapping statute right here. That could also get you into some deep doo-doo. So if you uh, intercept any communications by accident or anything like that, uh, that's how they can get you right there. I'm sure a prosecutor could, uh, a good prosecutor could uh, really get you on that. I mean, it's been known to happen to a few frauditors in the past, some of which are serving time now or about to serve time. So you may be the next one. 
I imagine everyone's back there talking about what to do. I, it's hard to, it's not hard, but like you forget that there's people like starving in our own country. And so many people have no food security and it's horrible. See what I mean by bad editing? I mean, it'd be fine if you were quiet, but when you're in the middle of one thought and it jumps to another, that kind of gets jarring right there. So if you're going to continue to do this, you might as well improve your editing skills so you're not constantly jumping from one uh, thought to another in mid-edit. You know what I don't see? I don't see any officer complaint forms. I don't see anything. What's this? I guess I could play with it while I'm waiting. I don't know how long this is gonna be. Here's some pamphlets we could look at. Journals of sexual violence. There is help out there. I ran away and got married when I was 16 because I was Jehovah's Witness. And I, ra I was 16, the guy I ran away with was night and he was violently abusive. Wait, out here to like, talk to me or are they just gonna ignore me? Why were there so many jump cuts right there? I mean, that seemed like an interesting story, but uh, if you really wanted to hide it better, you should have taken the whole thing out and nobody would have known about that. So in the words of Denver Metro Audits, Chris Cordova, do better. I have to remember, I have to be so careful. Like, it's hard. It's hard to remember that this isn't a game because it feels like that's what it is. It feels like that's what they're playing. Oh, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting, but they're, I don't know what they're doing. Can you answer me? <laughs> I want every unlawful sign removed. Like, obviously it's not as bad as the NYPD. I didn't get tackled, I didn't get arrested, I didn't get pushed out of the building like Long Island Audit. But I guess that's something, right? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. You know, for the sake of sanity, let's just go ahead and skip to the Next part where she uh, wants to file a complaint on somebody else for doing their job. So let's watch that. A little longer than a few minutes later. You could say please. All right, what's your badge number? Because now I need a complaint against you too. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a big joke. It's really funny that you don't know the Constitution of the United States. I'm waiting for the officer to give me my complaint forms. Oh, wow. They suddenly exist. That's amazing. Okay, am I? Okay, police, Allentown Police Citizen Feedback. It's not feedback, it's a complaint. But I'll fix it, that's okay. Gotta love for auditors and their inane stupidity. Feedback in this case can be construed as complaint. So you got your complaint form, quit your belly aching. And that's pretty much where the video ends. We pretty much have a, another constitutional law scholar on our hands who, well, doesn't do any research for herself, as you can see, because all she's doing is parroting other frauditors and not doing a very good job at it either. I have a feeling this one's going to be one of those frauditors that does end up behind bars because they decided to follow the frauditor script to the letter and not modify it to fit their uh, state or whatever and end up getting in real deep trouble. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.